Andrea Gigline with us, Dr. Success, and she truly is. And I'm just wondering, Andrea, uh, good news happens. Good and we news happens. We need to speak more about good news, don't we, in our everyday yep. conversations. Everyday conversations in the news. You know, over the last few months, we've had the opportunity to how do we take back the control of everything that we've been hearing in the media. And, you know, one of the things I haven't said to the two of you is, you are really quite commendable in your desire to really, as you start your show each day, find those things that actually lift people up mm -hmm. and get them in. You know, I have heard very clearly your concern about, you know, we're part of the system mm -hmm. that helps bring people down, and that isn't our intent. And a lot of very nice things have been coming to the forefront. It takes effort. Um, mm -hmm. The good news happens. A website that just can't, you know, I belong to many a social networking <laughs> system <laughs> and um, yeah. use them very avidly. And there is one that comes through the other day, mm -hmm. someone I don't know, but my name was on LinkedIn, and he sends through this little blurb about how he has decided to fund for everyone else mm -hmm. a site called Good News Happens. Mm -hmm. And he happens to be a high tech recruiter, American based in Germany, and his name is Jack Clawfield. Mm -hmm. And each day, he goes through the news and just picks one item from somewhere. I love mm -hmm. that. Yes, That's a good idea. yes. Yeah. And so yeah. people who are looking for jobs, instead of hearing all the negative information, especially in the tech industry, they can go to his site once a day, pick up a little nugget. And you'll remember me always saying, it, there's a beach full of sand, and what positive psychology and the application of positive psychology is about is holding on to one grain. That with the one grain, we can begin to build our own beaches. And you know, many times those little news articles that are the good news articles are hidden. Mm -hmm. you, you have to Stuck sometimes in the search back. for them. Absolutely. Page three, page four, back page. And that's, you know, it follows, it follows the mentality of bad news cells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That even when you have a good news article, yeah. you'll put a headline on the top of it that will attract you in. But that Andrew, even in good times, bad times, that's where we, we lean towards the negative because I remember many years ago, I wanted to start a newspaper, a printed newspaper, right. called the good, Correct. oddly enough, the good there, news there or the are, positive yes. news. Yes. But and people kept telling me over and over again, it won't sell. Nobody wants to read about the good news. What say you to that? Well, what say me to that is, we have been accustomed to that. There is a way to deliver good news. If I make it of your interest, what, what Jack Clawfield has done on this site, people looking for jobs, he's a recruiter. So he has been able to direct you to business items that let you at least believe that, okay, these, this is where the openings are taking place. So I, many good news vehicles have failed. I keep track of many of them. That is a correct thing and it doesn't have to continue to be that way. Mm -hmm. More of us, and I believe that is one of the many good things that has come out of this particular, you know, this version of crisis in our country, more people are desperate and in need of that boost. So our willingness and our tolerance for the bad news is diminishing. That's why, as I mentioned last month, Brian Gumbel now denotes a few minutes of his mm -hmm. newscast mm -hmm. every single day. That is not because people are no longer willing to listen to good news. It is because they want to end with the psychological fact that if I leave you feeling good, you're going to come back. That's a piece of science of consumers. Mm -hmm. Some tidbits and examples, uh, managerial hiring finally shows signs of recovery, right. uh, investment in renewables overtakes fossil fuels, whatever goes up must come down, but at least right now things keep going up. Yep, and I had a, a tremendous experience just personally yesterday on 60 Minutes Sunday night. Bernanke was on pretty long interview, mm -hmm. and the question was asked towards the end of the interview, how will we know with the banking crisis that things have finally, what's, the, what's, what's going to be the signal? Okay, mm -hmm. yes. His answer was when private money, the equity markets begin to reinvest. Mm -hmm. So that took place on Sunday night. Monday, NPR is reporting that a whole host of the banks that had gotten bailout money are now in line to give it back to the government. But to your point, when our attitude changes, well, that's, right. that's when that's when the when thing we will start turn looking for it. And yeah. what happened on t on Monday morning? The, these banks want to give back the money because 
the equity markets have begun to start funding them again. Because people will not sit on their money forever. Right, mm -hmm. and there was the whole conversation. Yes. So here we have, we're seeing these openings, but let me tell you something. You got to, it's like a scavenger hunt, and I'm not going to tell you that it's, you know, a day at the proverbial mm -hmm. beach. It's a scavenger hunt, and that's what I am proposing that yeah. we do. That's the application of positive psychology. Start the, instead of looking for the bad, yeah. start looking for but the bad. But see, and you're making, you're both making excellent points because it is the news. Turn out the news. Turn Correct. off the news. We've talked about that. And turn on, but not just turn off the news, but turn on, turn to something that's saying positive things. Well, and, I and, and actually think it's a much spiritual self. better, and I will address the spiritual aspect of it, but it is a much better exercise, a much better intellectual exercise that I not turn you off but that I be able to sit, and this is where the spiritual part comes in. Mm -hmm. My ability to sit with you in disagreement and develop an argument mm -hmm. that allows me to be heard is a much better. If I turn off the news because it's mm -hmm. negative and stop watching, I really have exited the game and my voice no longer matters. If I continue to watch and I then respond through all of the wonderful social mm -hmm. networkings, through the websites, all the different ways, my voice that says, mm -hmm. okay, thank you for letting me know those things happened, mm -hmm. but how about you let me know the good as stuff? As long as you don't do it in anger, because many people see Correct. it and then respond in yeah. an anger You in always, an angry it, one, of the, one of the base behavioral tenets, make sure they're paying attention to your message, not your behavior. This came out of Bank of England, home buyer lending increases. Right. Now we're seeing that a little bit in the United States also right we now. Are. You know, I have a number of friends, we're in the midst of a refi. Is it taking five and six months? Is it really comical what you're going through trying to do it? Yes. But are they beginning to happen? Absolutely. Mm -hmm homes, you know, I happen to live in an area where, and Phoenix, uh, I live in Las Vegas, Phoenix, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a number of cities that we will lag yeah. because the spike was so great, Yeah, but it's coming. But I want to ask you when we come back, okay. because when people keep getting filled with all this negative, many people are weak and they become depressed and, dis right. and despondent, and right. that's, so that's a choice. A, so there's another question. We'll, and we'll talk, talk about, about that, that choice. Uh, when we come back, Andrea Gigline is our guest. Stay where you're at.